two buck in her here. Uh, shed season is upon us. Um, just came up on my first dead head on the property that I'm walking today. Looks like it's been dead for a while. Not sure how big it is, but I'm gonna set up the camera here and uh, do a video. I'll be working with HLRBO this season, walking properties and listing them on their website. So anybody looking to lease land in the New York area. Right now I'm in New York and uh, I'm on 58 acres plus 14 and 18. So almost 90 acres that's gonna be available this season um, in New Art. So if you're interested, get on their website, see what's available and uh, let's start this season well and uh, get on a piece of property that's private and not have to worry about people running in and there's good potential here. So I'm gonna pick up this deadhead and see how it, see what it is and see how big he is. Sad to see him go like that. Well, here's the deadhead. I'm gonna pick him up. Sitting right there. See how big he is? Oh man, he's really stuck up in there. He's like tucked all underneath. Like this is his his back right here. This is probably gonna take a while. Oh boy. That's a nice deer. Big seven point. It's got like a dagger right here. What's up guys so i've been trying to get the head off and i can't it's still fairly fresh so i'll just show it to you guys with the thing and i'm gonna put them over in the field and drag them out when i leave the property but here he is beautiful deer he's three on this side with a little brow time that actually swoops back right here it's pretty cool big beam right here he's four on that side not sure what happened if a hunter had them last year i'm not sure if the property was leased or not i will have to ask the uh landowner but it is a beautiful buck three and a half year old i would say maybe a three-year-old so here's for shed season 2024 this is my first deadhead and he's a dandy for sure so make sure you guys like subscribe and comment so i can keep doing a lot of these i enjoy it love it and uh maybe we can get this back to the hunter who shot it if there was one i'll double check with the landowner see what happens like subscribe and comment thanks guys and i found it i'll get a hold of the landowner and uh see if it was a hunter that hunted it last season but that's it right there he's nice 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 buck maybe i can keep it i don't know i'll ask him yeah, it is. Big one or little one? Uh, a big one. <laughs> yes, it is. What's up, guys? So, I'm here at my buddy's place out here in Auburn. His name's Andrew Fisher. He does taxidermy work, um, European mounts. So, here's the buck that I'm going to be giving him. Here's the one that I found out in uh, New York. Got long times on them. Landowner said I could have them. Really nice buck. So here's a picture of him. Or here's a video of him. A little proud time. Kind of curls in the back. So here's a before and after. I'll be giving it to him here shortly. He's coming out. And then I'll be giving it to him. Can't wait to see how he turns out, add him to my collections. If you guys look at anybody in the Auburn area for uh, European mounts, this guy does an awesome job, awesome. He's already done one for me before and can't thank him enough for taking this one. So, awesome.